Hello Zenbi. Zentangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns. It teaches and focuses on being mindful and present. Zentangle requires no artistic skills. Hello, I'm Sandhya Manne. I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that I will be posting throughout this month of October. Zendalas are the best of Zentangle and Mandala. Welcome to Zendala Joy. 31 days, 31 Zendalas. It's day 27 today and we will be working with string number 11 for today's project. To get your instant free download of the string template, all you have to do is sign up onto my newsletter. The link is in the description. Now on to the, today's project. Uh, I will be working with my uh, round white Zendala tile and black pen, pencil and stuff. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. On to tangling now. So here we are working with string number 11, day 26. And I have traced my string onto my tile. So to get your instantly download of this string template that has 20, uh, 15 strings, you just have to sign up onto the newsletter. The link is in the description. So now that I have my tile ready, let's get started. So I will be using my black 01 micron and uh, a 08 black micron pencil and a stub. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to do molygon in this in this petal so our first angle is molygon and it goes like this so i start somewhere here okay and i make this nice curve like that and i'm gonna go over this and ink this like this so that's our first molygon uh and now i'm gonna add my next one right next to it just orying this and I'm just going to pull this slightly down and add my next crescent moon like that so okay and I'm just going to go right under that and pull this out like that so let's repeat this one more time So, okay, so this one I'm just going to pull it all the way down the last one. Okay, so I have this beautiful set of molygons. Now let's repeat this again here. Um, so I start somewhere here. I go all the way up like that and I'm going to make this crescent moon shape now just orying this okay so continue on that so I'm just doing one more before I make my teardrop here okay so let's let's do this let's repeat this on all uh, the rest of the petals okay so I have my molygon all done uh, in all of those petals now let's see how we can make this interesting um, so you can do different variations inside this to enhance molygon but I'm gonna go ahead and do this I'm gonna make a really tiny um, curve like this and then an aura line and 
slightly wider line that goes like this like this and then again we're going to just fill this with all our lines okay so i'm going to fill this one right on the top and i'm going to pull out lines like this so this is going to be the fragment that we will be using in all of these uh, mulligans so go ahead do that do that So I'm going to ignore this one for now uh, and this last section is going to be filled in on both sides. Okay, so this is going to look like this. Now let's go ahead and repeat this once again so let me just show you once again so we start off with a half circle that goes like this and then an aura around that and a line that is wider so it goes wider and then we finish it up with these aura lines and this is going to be filled up and I am going to pull out these lines okay so So here's my last one. So like that. So let's go ahead and finish the rest of the petals. So here it is, all done. Okay, I like the way it looks. Um, so now let's get to the next section. Um, so. We are going to work 
uh, in this space here so i want you to use your pencil and kind of connect this to this more like a, a circular format like like that okay so so i don't want you to make a straight line but a slightly curved line something like that okay so let's go ahead and do that with a pencil just to be sure and then we are going to ink that okay so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and ink that So I'm going to make an aura line, in fact I'm going to make two aura lines, so I'm going to pull out another line from here like this and one more like this. So let's go ahead and do that. this space so I'm going to ink this line and I am going to do hybrid there so let's just ink this first and uh, let's make hybrid so I'm going to do this So I'm gonna land right on that, okay? Um, and we're gonna do this once again. Like that, okay? So this was way too wide. Let's try making it slightly narrower. Okay, so I'm going to go slightly narrow and I'm going to try and maintain this since I started my first line on this uh, on the left side I'm going to maintain that yeah, I think this should be good so like that and I'm going to repeat this once again like that so I have this this space here right so let's go ahead and repeat this on the rest of them. Okay, so I have inked and made those hybrid all along. Um, now, here inside this triangle, we are going to do what is called as uh, fragment G15. So it goes like this. We um, make maybe one two and three and similarly we do this on the other side as well one two three one two three like this and then we pull out a line that kind of goes like this like this and like this right so go this way this way and this way and I'm going to add another little triangle here and fill it up and then maybe add one more like this. So this is J15. Let me zoom in and do this. So we're going to do one, two and three. One, two and three like that. Okay. 
so let's go ahead and repeat this all around so this is all done so now we are going to add um, some stripes here in this and in this right so it's going to be like this and like this and now I'm going to fill these um, alternating with black and white so Let's go ahead to that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So similarly, I'm going to start here. So let's go ahead and do this uh, uh, on the rest of the sections. So I'm just going to show you one more time with lines that go this way. And then this is going to go this way. And here this is going to go this way. So now I'm going to use my thicker tip pen and start adding black. So I'm just going ahead with my last section. let's go ahead and finish so this all around that is all done I've added the black and everything so now let's get to the next section which is this so what I want you to do here is again with a pencil so we're going to make a, a mark maybe somewhere here and here okay, and I'm going to pull this out like this and like this so notice I'm not making a straight line I want it like curved like that see so just just following that um, shape so I'm gonna do this on all of them so from here to here okay, so we'll just pull this out and pull this out like this
okay so i have marked this now let's get to um let's go ahead and ink this okay so i'm gonna use my 01 micron and i'm gonna go ahead and ink it or yeah let's ink it okay so i go about doing this So here I'm going to do moon pie. So I start off with a shape like that and then give an aura line and give a wider aura line and one more like that. And then here I am going to add circles nice and big. And then let's give it a or a line there and I'm gonna go back and fill these gaps. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull out lines like this. And so we're gonna fill this whole thing up. And here, okay, let's see here, like the way it looks here right now, but let's just finish the other sides and then we can take a call. So here we are again going to repeat the same thing, but this side. So it's going to be one, two, and then space, three, four, and then we make our circles. And then we aura this. And we pull out lines that go like this. Okay, so this is going to be filled in. repeat this on the other side we start off with this half circle and then aura this and make a wider line aura that and make your circles okay go back and check on those little white spots and aura this and now I'm going to pull out lines ok so this is going to be filled in Okay, so now let's repeat this here.
and I do that on this side as well. So you see how this is kind of giving a beautiful flow. So let's see how the whole thing turns out. Okay, so take your time and uh, let's finish this all around. Oh, I like the way it's turning out. Okay, so let's let's go slow and finish everything all around. Okay, so here it is all done. Uh, I'm still not adding anything here yet. We will we can always add something later. So for now, let's just leave it like that. Um, now here this section I am going to just pull a line out like this and make it slightly darker right at the end something like this okay so we're going to do this on all uh, between all the petals Like a triangle, like a filled in triangle. So now here between between these um, petals here in this space, I'm going to pull out my lines to make beadweed. So it's going to be like this, like that, and like that. So again, I'm going to start off here. and do that okay so maybe one more yes. so now i'm going to go back and add that slight depth here right at the top like this so let's go ahead and do this on on each of the sections here so since I started off from from left to, uh, to right I'm gonna continue on that so this goes like this this goes like that and one more okay so I'm gonna go ahead first finish and then go back to add that little black depth so here I have done with it all around and I'm going to go ahead and add a knob here you know how much I love those and my tile isn't complete without them so let's go ahead and fit one here
Okay, so let's do that. So now it here it's all done. Okay, now um, I'm still not sure if I want to do something here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the shading and then see because I just have to add something and that I can do at any point of time. So let's go ahead and start with the shading. I am loving this. What do you think? Okay, so let's get to shading now. Um, just before we get to that, I want to mention about my group Zenbees and I really invite you to join the group. It's super fun there, a lot of exciting thing happens. We uh, meet every Friday at 10 a.m. for a uh, Facebook Live, we tangle together and um, these projects all the zenbees are sharing these projects on the group and with their own twist and there's so much of learning happening in the group after the session and i really don't think you should miss those so do join us on our group zenbees okay now let's get to sharing um so the first thing first i want to start off with this on the outer side so Let's go ahead and add our pencil right here, right like that, and same thing here, and here. Okay, so I'm going to use my stub and go on to this and blend this out really good. Make it a little darker. Okay. And same thing we're going to do this on this side and I'm going to maintain white right in the center do you see how this creates this lovely cone so which is what we want so we're going to go ahead and do this on each of it so one thing I'm going to add my pencil here as well okay so it's going to turn out lovely it's going to give a beautiful movement okay so do you see that and let's go ahead and add pencil here as well okay so do you see that oh this is literally lifting out of the page do you see that come just take a look at this and this so we're going to do this all around okay uh, and so I really don't think we need to do something here this, this space looks really lovely um, so let's it almost looks like a ribbon that's kind of flowing out um, so let's do that but before we get to that let's just add our pencil right here around this around this and let's just send this out gently like that um, so the reason I came back to the center or I'm doing this is because um, it's actually easier to work from center out so that you don't get your hands all over um so let's finish this and then go to the other side so i've just added pencil uh, on either side and i'm making sure the center is white okay so let's repeat this all around so Usually uh, it's a good idea to start from the center and then kind of go out so that you don't get your fingers and hands on all of that but um, I just couldn't wait to show you this so I had to do that first okay so go ahead and do this all around and then we'll get back so I've done shading for this inner petal this is that okay so now um, for this uh, G15 just gonna add pencil right here right to the corner and use our stub to just gently blend this out or smoothen this out 
um, so I make sure that my center is wide I'm not going to go all over that so let's go ahead and finish this Okay, so I have added pencil on all of that. Now let's get to this outer part and create some magic. So I'm going to go ahead and add my pencil right here. So I'm just keeping the black. It's not going to help me. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and do it this side. Again, I'm skipping the black here. So let's do it this side. Okay, and then of course we're going to do it here side and here okay so now let's go ahead and blend this out gently okay so let's go ahead beautiful okay so let's go ahead and finish the rest of it and create some nice nice 3d magic so there you go all done you see how it looks Ooh. all that 3d effect is looking wonderful okay so now um, I'm pretty much done with this tile um, so let's go ahead and add our initials and sign it up and journal this okay um so i am going to add my name in 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 this so i'm going to add my full name so let's do that like that okay so let's journal this okay so let's see this is um jsd Today is 26th of October 2020 and this is Zendala Joy T26 string number 11 and we worked with the first angle we worked with was Molly Bond. and uh, the next thing that we did was um, we did B tweet in the center and then we did hybrid and then we did fragment uh, J15 and we also did oh we did moon pie So there you go. Okay, before we finish, I quickly want to show you uh, our previous project using the same string. Can you tell it's the same string? So different, right? There's so much possibilities. Um, we've just created something totally different using the same string. So there it is. String number 11. And today's project is T626. Yeah. Hope you had fun creating this project with me. I would love to see your creations. So hop on to our Facebook group Zenbees where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works by other Zenbees. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sandhya Mane or hashtag Tangled with Sandhya. So I get to see your lovely works there. And I do stop by to comment. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of these can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, email me to get information about my group classes or to schedule your private sessions. Slots for the month of November are now open. Now it's time to comment, so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. 
Also, it's time to show some love. So hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you really enjoyed this video, then please do like the video and share the uh, and subscribe to the channel because that really helps me uh, more than you know. And that is all I ask from you. So I'll see you tomorrow, day twenty eight, and we will be working with string number thirteen for tomorrow's project. So get your tile ready, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.